In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding coordinates on the unit circle for special angles. And here we're asked to find the exact values for the terminal point for three pi fourths radians. And before I find the terminal point for that specific special angle, I'm going to generate all of the special angles. So looking back at our unit circle, we have zero radians along the x-axis here at the top, pi halves along the negative x-axis would be pi radians down at the bottom, three pi halves. And for these, the coordinates are easy enough to remember. The first here for zero radians is the point one zero. At the top here, pi halves, this is zero one. At pi, this coordinate would be negative one zero. Three pi halves, that point is zero negative one. So these are our most basic special angles. Next, we have multiples of pi fourths. The first being exactly that, pi fourths. Pi fourths times two puts us at pi halves. And then three pi fourths, four pi fourths is pi, five pi fourths, six pi fourths is three halves, and then seven pi fourths. We'll come back to list these terminal coordinates in a moment, but we also have multiples of pi sixth. So one pi sixth would be here. 2 pi sixths simplifies to pi thirds. 3 pi sixths is pi halves. 4 pi sixths simplifies to 2 pi thirds. Next, we would have 5 pi sixths. 6 pi sixths is pi. Then 7 pi sixths. 8 pi sixths simplifies to 4 pi thirds. 9 pi sixths is three halves. 10 pi six is five pi thirds. Give myself a little room here. And then 11 pi six. These are all of our special values. And I think this helps us see the pattern and generate this anytime we would like. But then to find the terminal values for each one of these, there's a nice pattern and remembering that pattern for quadrant one here will help us find any of these other special values. So as we move around from the positive x axis, I can see that the x coordinate starts out at one and then makes its way to zero by the time we get to pi halves. And we can think of that pattern as one being the square root of four over two. The next would be the square root of three over two, then the square root of two over two. Next, we would have the square root of one over two. Square root of one is one, so that's just one half. And then the square root of zero over two would be our zero. And the opposite pattern works for our y's. So we started with zero, which is the square root of zero over two, then the square root of one over two, is just one half, the square root of two over two, and then the square root of three over two. Next would be the square root of four over two, which is just one. And now that we have all of these values for quadrant one, we can identify all of the rest of the special values because they're just gonna be a mirror in one way or the other of these values. So there'll be plus or minus versions of each one of these. And from here, I'm gonna look back and see that we were looking for three pi fourths radians. So this is the one that we're looking for. I can see that that's the mirror image of pi fourths. The difference is that our X value over here is going to be negative. So that would be a negative square root of two over two. And the Y value is going to be the same as over here, that positive square root of two over two. So this is our exact value for the coordinates 
and hopefully remembering these patterns will help you find any of the special angles.